Got him on the hog, baby. What up, guys? We're in downtown Dallas, Highland Park area, and I just stumbled across some sweet looking ponds out here that I'm about to take advantage of, I believe. I got like 30 minutes, so I'm gonna give this stuff a shot. I saw some kids who look like they know what they're doing, and uh, they were using some shad color or whatnot, but uh, all I've got is maybe something other than. So I'm just gonna throw maybe a black and blue chatterbait for a minute, see if I can't get anything. This place is pretty cool. All right, I'm just taking two things. The water looks murky and I don't wanna carry a lot of stuff, but I got the uh, black and blue chatterbait and the sexy shad crankbait. Thank you. He said, catch one, haha. <laughs> oh, no. Private. Got to be fair? Not yet, just got here. I've never fished here before though. How about you? How you have on? Uh, 30 pound braid. It's just white. Dude, this is the smoothest reel I've ever used. No, quit lying. The DC. Man, it's sick, right? You watch John yeah. B, don't you? Yeah, I watch John B, but it's not the same one he has. Rants. Rants? Oh, that's dope. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. What's your YouTube channel? Uh, Weston Smith, just my name. I've watched that. Have you? Oh man, that's sick. <laughs> I'm assuming the, with the fish. Yep. Bam! Awesome, man. I'm sure I'll catch you around. <laughs> As we came back to the Highland Park spot, uh, it looked too good, but um, we're gonna fish the creek down here today to start things off and see if we catch anything. I don't have any cards for the GoPro right now, so we're just gonna log any catches on this camera. Right, we left the creek spot. We weren't feeling too good about it necessarily, but uh, we just pulled off to this big open area a little further downstream. <laughs> he got another one. There's just a big old fish that popped up right over there. And it's tough today, all we're getting is little bluegill nibbles, but judging by what homie said over yonder, there's some big ones in here. Let me just give you guys a glimpse. It has been rough over here though. We've done all different colors. We've done Ned Rig, Wacky Rig, Texas Rig now, the Creature Bait, Whopper Plopper, the Chatter Bait. It's everything, it's ridiculous. What up guys, it's a breezy Tuesday morning and uh, we're out here. I'm gonna add this to the Highland Park footage because I couldn't catch nothing, but this morning Bryce has given me a little sneak peek at the Guggen Baits I put on order. I just got a bunch of them, but I ain't got them yet. He's letting me use the Trench Hog. We're gonna see if this thing will uh, bring the streak back to life, man, because we've been missing the fish. So I'm gonna tie this thing on and get right to it. I feel like the scent, they're gonna go after this stuff, dude. Oh, yeah, it's got that, that garlic. Whew. I think the legs. There we go. Oh, the legs too, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's attached, you gotta take them all apart. Hoo hoo. Straight from the factory. Fresh out the box, hot off the press. Just had a big hit. I think my problem is, uh, I haven't thrown a Texas rig in a while. You gotta really let them take it because the hook's in this thing good. There he goes. There he goes. He's got it. Trench hog. Trench hog on, boys. First one ever. Got him on the hog, baby. <laughs> yeah. Trench hog pulling through. Guggen baits for the win this morning. Oh yeah, boys, it feels good. Look at that natural color. Ooh, a little flash on the bottom. It's got the scent, and it gets the bass. <laughs> Toss him back, but I'm trying to throw him over here because I got more on these trees I gotta catch. I think his brother's in here too, man, because he felt a little lighter weight than that first nibble I got. Let me peg my weight back down and get back in there. I think we might be able to pull one more out of this tree. Fix you up. Barely, barely put the hook in there because I don't want to miss these guys. He, he had a good hold of it though. I, I let him take it for a little longer time than any of these others. Stoked on that catch right there. Hugen bait trench hog. And I got some on the way. I'm jealous. <laughs> oh man. 
But the thing is, he hit it twice. I thought it was a, I thought he was way bigger. The first hit I got, dude. And so I was thinking, oh shit, I'm about to get Big Bertha. And I just kind of let it sit there and he went back after it, but you know, he was a pound, pound and a half. Ooh, you missed one. Oh no. Dude, I'm telling you, there's a big boy under here. <laughs> Damn. Hog down, hog down. Almost lost him. Further down or keep? Yeah, we, we go further down. I do want to end though at the front. Is this so yeah. clear? I want to see. Well, then let's go there. Yeah, go screw there? it. Yeah. First one of the day for Bryce on that jig. All right, y'all. Just had to uh, clear some memory off the card. I just got my second one. He was he was a little guy, but uh, he tore the trench hog up, so we're retiring him. And uh, Bryce let me tie on a bandito bug. Same color, natural color. He's gonna have some fresh scent. They're slimy, like the fish, you, you can tell they're gonna be hungry for these things right here. I'm gonna probably break him off and I might use him as somewhat of a trailer for something else here in a little bit because uh, the action of those appendages on the back are really good. So let me toss right back out there where I was. Oh, 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 oh my God. Did you see that big old bass? And I just turned the camera back on. <gasps> <gasps>